Good afternoon. <laughs> See the West Link. That here. is the horniest what? thing I've ever heard. Come on. Marvin, bring down here some of those chicken and waffles. <laughs> Mr. Potter. <laughs> I uh, feel good. Shit. This is unbelievable. It's absolute <laughs> chaos. <laughs> Sippers, welcome to this episode of the Tea With Me podcast with me, Shane Todd. Before we get into the episode, I need to plug our Patreon, patreon.com slash Tea With Me podcast. Dan, what's the most recent thing that's on there? Lurk? The live Lurk podcast with Paddy McDonald and Aaron Butler. Uh, just do a Patreon audience, we did that uh, towards the end of last year. That's on there. Live streams on Fridays, bonus episodes on Mondays. Who Wants To Be A Millionaire? Which was uh, a lot of fun and... Oh, who won? Somehow, who won? <laughs> somehow this guy won. Yeah. I should point out it was a grant for charity. Oh, okay. Um, I didn't win a million of that. Yeah. <laughs> no, I was like, I even, even I if you went to like, happy days. Congratulations. <laughs> it's a quarter of a cash. Well, I, yeah, because I charged you petrol money for coming up here. <laughs> I have a million in the bank. Um, Patreon in the comments says, me podcast. We're, we're, we're sponsored by NordVPN. Now you're saying, what the frick is that? It's a virtual private network aka a tool that safeguards your internet connection and enhances your online privacy. Basically, I don't know a lot about it, but I know that it, it establishes a secure encrypted pathway for your online data traffic, Dan, is that right? Correct. Green light. This tunnel is impenetrable, ensuring that no one can snoop on your internet activities, access your personal data, or determine your actual IP address and geographical location, because they're all trying to do that. Sippers can get an exclusive NordVPN offer at nordvpn.com slash team and me with a no risk 30 no risk 30 money back guarantee Dan that's what it says change that 30 day money back guarantee 30 money back guarantee says it there 30 you, day money back guarantee yeah 30 money back guarantee you can grab your exclusive NordVPN deal by going to nordvpn.com slash team with me to get a huge discount the link is in the description we are also sponsored by Manscaped not but an hour ago, I used a Manscaped product in the gym changing rooms. It was the... What what one? It, it's, a, it's a facial shaver. Oh, okay. I thought you yeah. were trimming your bollocks in the gym. I was about to say that. It's out of order. I you always get away with that. No more letter something. My dad reported a guy at the gym he goes to because the guy was using the hairdryer to dry his pubes. That's fucked up. In plain sight, like... The, the, it's fucked up that the guy did it or that my dad reported it. I mean, your dad's a tight, like, but yeah, yeah. it is fucked up that he Also, that's fully pubes. something your dad would do, too, so... I think my dad only reported him because he hadn't thought of it first and he didn't want to be copying this guy. Right. Um, but yeah, my dad fully went to reception and got this guy. Was it, like, pulled the swim shorts, hair dryer, and Not fan even. in the pubes, or what? Out of the shower, straight out of the shower, butt naked. Nuts. Yeah, I'm dick. <laughs> 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 now, that's an insane person. Yeah. We want to talk about sauna etiquette in a sec, but I got to tell you that I use that man's. What's that called, Dan? Handyman. The handyman. Unbelievable. Um, I, I, I really like it. And I'll tell you this I'm not making this up. I haven't charged it since I got it, and you gave me it a long time ago. And I use it maybe once a week, and I haven't had to recharge it. So there you go. So there's a good battery life on that. Uh, and I am. You're, you're uh, dicing with death there because what happens? You have a little bit of a shave, then a battery dies, and you're out and about. You, you know, you could end up with a little Hitler. You say Dyson know. with death? Yeah. Everyone's saying that. Does Manscaped have a 30 money back guarantee? <laughs> they, have, they have a 30 money back guarantee. And also, use code T with me for 20% off and free shipping across the Manscaped range. But yeah, I had a little. I felt like a real man having a shave at the gym. You know? Uh, it's a nice. Shoulder it's a luxury. over the. Over the no, sh towel over the shoulder. Shoulder over the towel? <laughs> That's the expression. <laughs> I, I went about it shoulder over towel, you know, that people say. Um, but yeah, all the links for that are in the description. Now, let's just bloody well get into it. My guests this week are none other than Aaron McCann. Is that right? Mm -hmm. And William Thompson. Bad bastards. Two, 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 two bad bastards. Two lovely boys that I've known for a long time. Um, can I say your fleece looks comfy? Oh, I'm real cosy today. Cosy, comfortable and hydrated. 100%. Because you, you, you dropped a bit of a bombshell before we started recording. And you, Aaron McCann, said, and I don't know where this fits in the landscape in 2024. I don't know where this is, but you said, that you, how many litres of water do you drink a day? Five litres. That's nuts. That's something like if there's a certain amount you can drown in your own body. Listen, I listen to David Goggins. 
January 1st and he ignited something liters? in me. He was like, listen, five lights, bare man. So now every day I go to the sauna and steam. Sorry, go to the gym. five liter minimum? <laughs> I mean, yeah. I rarely go over it, like, yeah. you know. Not. The fifth light is tough, like, the it's fifth light is where you have to really dig, Yeah, you know. You're going to get, you know, like, you know, in the, your mouth's going to be like, you know, when you fill up the bath too much? Yeah. And is that what you output for it? What I will just say, I'm right never not full of pish. Right. I'm full of pish right now. Like, yeah. He just came back from piss and said the words, there's more piss in them. You said there's more there. There's definitely more up there, like. Yeah. But how much were you drinking before the, all this? See, I wasn't at the gym today, so I, I'd be lucky to have half a litre in my system right now. Ooh. And this doesn't count. This is flavoured water. That's right. a treat. Right. Is that a treat? That's a treat, though. That watermelon and peach? That is a treat. That's a treat. That's, That's a treat. A, the words of Goggins, this <laughs> watermelon and peach is a treat. <laughs> <laughs> Had what? a sausage roll for breakfast. Oh that. man, that's, what's that? I, listen, I did that. I danced with the devil yeah. for about ten years. You know, yeah. I'm gonna die if I keep I'm gonna say up. sausage roll. I mean, bag of tangy cheese Doritos. So what's that? <laughs> Is that a treat? That's a treat. <laughs> um, we we're talking about the sauna there, and uh, you do about you do a twenty minute. I had twenty minute before this, and I feel great. No, no, no. Twenty minutes, like ten steam, ten sauna. Oh, I'm not at that level yet. Steam's bad for you. What do you Why? All the. Germs are in the are in this team. <laughs> All the germs are in this team. You're breathing it in. But germs can be good for you. Not if they're bad. But are these necessarily bad germs or just germs? Depends How do you differentiate? You yeah. Depends where you are. I just think this steam it feels like a little bit you know, you see a lot of guys in there that you can't really see. You know what I mean? <coughs> what? Yeah, you don't know what they're at. You know, oh, if you're right. in a slightly big steam room, you know, you go you know, there's a suggestion, there's a man in the corner. You know? And if the guy doesn't, I get weirded out. When I walk into the sauna, I just want to say hello. I don't want to chat. But I definitely want to say hello. But when you walk in and the person doesn't really greet you, I think they're, they've been waiting for someone or something. You know what I mean? Like, there's there's things I like in the sauna and things I don't. And I don't like, I see it very relaxing, very therapeutic. But I don't like a long conversation with someone. You walk in, one guy by himself, mm -hmm. steam room. Yep. What are you dropping in there? He's in a full tuxedo. <laughs> I say I just give it a what's correct man how are you it's too long you think so I just pick go. one of those well well when we country wave just wait see yourself. if you're in those country saunas boys are going to want to chat oh I no I and I'm open to conversation like, yeah, yeah. what do you need to get off your chest let me know yeah and is it all old boys or is there some young blood I'm in the there? youngest in there by about 15 years yeah, yeah. and that's Gorillas exactly how I like it I don't want any other millennials in there. Dan, Dan's is it, a very determined Dan nodding along. Nah, I've been in there. It's me and the boomers, like. Is it like, uh, you know, maybe when you're younger or something, you're around your granny and granddad's house and, like, you know, you're getting treats and 15s and all, and then another young relative calls around, you're like, Oh, yeah, this. exactly. <laughs> like, here's an example, right, of, of uh, two overheard conversations I've, I've been blessed to hear yeah. this week in the sauna, right? First one, walk in. This is the first bit of sound bite comes into my ears. Doll goes, What about them carrot muffins right enough? <laughs> and the girl turned there goes, Ah, Sarah, stop me, mouth's watering. <laughs> You're like, Me too, I've had seven liters of water <laughs> 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 on the walk from the changing rooms in here. <laughs> and, then, and then the other one, right? Which is, this is Tarot in a nutshell, right? Guy walks in, I'm up at the top deck in the sun. I usually don't do that. It was Friday. So, guy walks in, right? And uh, one of the other guys up top knows him. And he goes, well, Pat. And he goes, Sean. And now this guy didn't seem like he wanted to be involved in the conversation. He's me. He's me. Other guy was very eager. Right. And he goes, how you keeping? Yeah. He goes, best. Yeah. What was that? <laughs> best. Best. <laughs> Just that was it. I'm the yeah. best. Plain, simple. Now, best. Is there like a hierarchy for you sitting on the bottom shelf, sitting on the top shelf? I mean, listen, if you walk in and there's two, uh, I'd say the top shelf sit about three cozy right yeah if you walk in then there's two fellas but there's a gap in between them i won't go in there nah 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 you're right you it's too aggressive you, is it like a urinal etiquette you don't go in the middle you'll sit left or right you're not using the middle one now you say that i think it is very similar to urinal etiquette yeah Do you know yeah. yeah yeah i'm not getting my loot right in between two fellas i'll go over to the other side like yeah i see i hate when you're using a urinal like you're on the far say there's left middle right you're yes. using the one on the right someone comes into the middle nah no, no, because there's the left one that's available. You're trying to look at my willy there in the middle one. That's what you're doing. <laughs> there's no reason for you to be in that one. Trying to look at my willy. Yeah. <laughs> and someone over Christmas, someone did do that to me. And I turned around and the word, like, no way if you're trying to 
trying to see what someone else is packing. You do like a wee side glance. Yeah. Hold on, I love that he's like, they're all looking at my belly. He's like, here's how you look. Yeah, yeah. yeah. right. But, no, right yeah, no. There's a difference between a glance and a look. No, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, if you, sometimes you'll be like, if he's right beside me, I'm like, I'll see how I'm measuring up. I turn around and this guy was fully like, just doing that. Yeah. Like yeah, over, over the year. And then he went, he laughed at it. And I was <laughs> like, <laughs> That's, he was like fucking. That's like, a feral man. Like, cold, it, <laughs> cold in here, is it? Yeah. Can't do my best. And this is at heart. It made his day and it ruined mine. <laughs> <laughs> like, he came out of that bathroom for the and I came out. I was like, yeah. fucking hell. I remember yeah. Juggy Jug- York once, a guy standing at the. It's like a. <laughs> It's like a trough, your rival. Laughing at a man's belly in the toilet. Like that. <laughs> in the no manners thing. anymore. Sorry. And the guy went full. He must have been 60. And with like no banter about him at all, went full jeans and pants around the ankles for his piss. <laughs> like, and didn't go like, fuck's sake. Not. Like he wasn't like, making the Mad. boys have a laugh. Uh, He's just dead serious. He's like, we, I... Ballpark, how old was this fella? We, 60. Oh, 60 years of that. Are we P2 piss like? Yeah. Yeah. That's amazing. 60 years of jeans around the ankles. Yeah. But I don't, even think, I don't even think the young people are doing that anymore. Nah, Gen Z aren't putting the trousers to the ankles. I don't know, I mean, you did it in, like, primary school, you know. No yeah, one was I in third year. Even then, I didn't. Did you not? No, I did just, like, very lightly tuck it out, and then away we go. Do you know, do you know what's Dyson with death? What's Taking that? it just out of the zip. Aye. No, well, I don't know why that's made. Sorry. Stop looking at my dick. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Tell me what to do. <laughs> Goggin said, "Control your that, destiny." No, that I'm looking a, at cops. I, that wasn't. I, like, that was a glance. That was a stare. Can I tell you guys about getting caught looking once at a celebrity dick? Yeah. Who's dick? Dermot O'Leary. Right. I'd like to. We were in at a Cinemagic event in Dublin, right? Which is like the name of like a children's film charity. Yeah. Not like what I call going to the cinema. <laughs> yeah. When you see Leary's dick, it's Cinemagic. <laughs> So, you have the 3D glasses on, looking at it. <laughs> I'm oh. there in the cinemagic cock. <laughs> Bit of context. <laughs> the number one children's book of 2024. It rolled down. I, uh, so here's a bit of background. I'd met Dermot before. Okay. I had, I had worked at this like film camp before, whenever I was like, I don't know, 17, 18 or something. Mm-hmm. Loveliest guy you'll ever meet. Nice guy. Mm-hmm. We ended up in like a lunch break for the event in the in this hotel. Um at the urinals at the same time and I stole a glance and I got paranoid that I thought he had seen me but looking back on it he hadn't you made and it sound so romantic as well I said sorry <laughs> no I- like in that exact cadence <laughs> it's over that lets him know I was looking at your dick he didn't I don't think he thought I had been but I panicked and went oh my god I'm looking at Darren Rudy's cock for too long and I said sorry and he just went oh my god. you know but that's not how you so, did it the first time the first time you went it was, sorry it was but that makes no, it sound like you've seen his dick it didn't drift that makes it sound like you've seen his dick and you're sorry for the dick he has no I'm sorry oh, I'm sorry for I'm that sorry moment. that I couldn't take I'm sorry that I couldn't take my eyes off <laughs> sorry sorry about your <laughs> damn <laughs> look that's sorry niche, about your damn dick <laughs> that's a niche uh, TNA refer- wrestling reference there. that's it a magic James Storm James Storm James Storm that was just for us sorry I shouldn't I don't know James Storm? James yeah, Storm? Who thought we'd become X Division bander on TV? <laughs> oh, also, can I just say, what for a poo downstairs? Mm-hmm. Who owns the can of VO5? Wet Look. Wet Look VO5? Oh, why? There's no Wet Look. Well, who's oh, going there's to... a Wet Look down there. It's a wee pot. It's a wee pot of fives. Wet Oh, sorry, it is potter, yeah. I used. Right. Now we're getting into it. <laughs> talk to me about it. I'm not trying to expose you. No, I've got to tell you. I've got to be honest with you guys with some. I go to the sauna today, bring on my toiletries, realise, no hair product. Now, I go very quickly from being a cute young man to looking very odd if my hair's dry. Right. I don't look good. I look like, remember Sunday night, you get a bath before school? Uh-huh. Just before London's burning, you get a bath? Mm-hmm. I, I, when I have dry hair, it's not a good, it's not a good thing. I rang Dan leaving the sauna leaving the leisure center and is, is there something wrong with like your hands free or something or your bluetooth and he goes i can't really hear you i said dan there's an emergency he goes i can't really hear you i'll phone you back and they phone me back all flustered and annoyed and i was like mate i've no hair product like i didn't bring any with me like is there any at the studio and he goes there's something now that sends chills up my spine 
what's it gonna be? I put on this unknown product. I think Fosty had left that a while ago, maybe or something. Yeah. yeah. Communal. It's communal. So I put that on and I went, Oh, it looks alright. By the time I get up here. Potty on. Communal VO five. Communal potty, yeah. <laughs> and I get up. Ain't I no put, ain't no potty like a communal potty. <laughs> <laughs> ain't no fun unless the homies get some. <laughs> Call this communal potty, and I'll tell you a story about my dad in Tenerife. <laughs> Based on that, um, so I freak out. I put this on. I, I look at myself and I go, "I looks good." Uh-huh. Dan, just before you walked in, when he was looking through the cameras, went, "You need to leave the room and go to the bathroom and sort your hair out." Which is a lovely thing that a girl would say to another girl on a night out. Yeah, your extensions. You need to go and fix that. Yeah. So I, I'm dicing with death here. In fairness, I was a good friend and lied to you and told you it looked good. So I was being nice. Yes. What was wrong, Dan? No, I was. Like, what it did was you not like about it? Spidery. Yeah, the, the fringe had all sort of fallen down. He, it was all over the he place. knows that Shane would watch it back and be raging as her. Look, I looked that. like it had a perm and then ran through the rain. We wouldn't have been allowed to put these episodes out if yeah. we hadn't fixed I'd it. Burnt yeah. The studio yeah, down. yeah. Um, my dad. Um, we were in Tenerife once and. He lost a t-shirt or something to do with the t- or got sunburned. Anyway, needed to buy a t-shirt at short notice. This is circa 02. My dad needs to buy a t-shirt. If it was like, you know, you like to think, just find like a nice wee shop and buy a t-shirt that you would always wear. He's very much like, I only need this t-shirt to go from the beach to the apartment. That's it. I'm buying the cheapest t-shirt. Go to a wee holiday tat shop. My dad goes, this'll do. Buys a white t-shirt with a bit of writing on it. He's going to wear it for a three minute walk. He ain't no fun if the homies can't get them. And I was too young to appreciate how much I loved it if my dad had to continue to wear that t-shirt. Dennis could wear that in the heart bar. It still doesn't look out of place. Yeah, like, that's, that's a man amazing. who deserves yeah. that shirt. He ain't no fun if the homies can't, can't get them. Get them. Was it was only years too. What's that alluding to? Yeah. Um, sex. Sex. So basically saying like, if I'm riding a woman, big man has to. Fr- big it doesn't the necessarily mean the chat. same woman. I thought it did. Okay. I thought it meant the homies are all getting a piece. I don't want the homies yeah, to get a piece. <laughs> I like monogamy. You're selfish. <laughs> no, I hear. How much wee- would that not work on a t-shirt? <laughs> you wouldn't give the wee man. <laughs> the homies get none. <laughs> The homies get my loyalty. That sounds like a what? And like, maybe they are breakfast. Homies get on sounds. I don't know how, but a little bit racist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. It's like when your white lives no. matter ones in the wash, you are the homies <laughs> get on. Homies don't get anything. <laughs> the homies get on movement. <laughs> Just a white square on your social media. <laughs> yeah, that was the same. You used to have no blacks, no dogs, no Irish, and homies get on. <laughs> in the menu just listen to the man goes home he's getting on um, I, I take it as, as like there's a group of guys out at a club there's a group of girls out yeah, <coughs> yeah the homies are looking some I think it should be ain't no fun if the homies can't get none from a large group of women that the homies will be sleeping with individually oh so you, you to you it's like a big game of British Bulldogs exactly everyone's got <laughs> yes. one end of the club yeah. and just run fucking bang in the middle yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it's something like that. That's what I take out of it. I, I don't like the idea that it's loads of guys, you know. Yeah. I don't like that. Have you ever had the homies get some? I've never had the homies get some, though. No. <laughs> I've never had the homies get some either. No. I've had a homie the homie get some, but that what do you didn't mean? bother me. You've had a homie... Like, I've went out with a girl that, like, a friend of a friend... Had, had, to go out had with. some of... So, a homie's homie? You had fun... Eskimo bra. The, homie, the homie's homie no, got some? No, like, a friend of an Eskimo bra. <laughs> Your friend was the Eskimo. No, my friend is the Eskimo. Are you about to cry right now? Yeah. (laughs) I should call her. (laughs) So your friend is the person who's the Eskimo brother of someone? Or No, my friend's the Eskimo. Right. And then the friend of the Eskimo is the Eskimo brother. But he's not to me because we didn't have a... I didn't know him like that. Acquaintances of homies can get some. Right. That's better. Yeah, there we go. yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. Um, I I wore a lot of those slogan t-shirts like that when I was fourteen, fifteen. They were the t-shirts, you know, the slogan t-shirts that were a little bit more. Uh, it's my duty to please that booty. I had from Top Man, and I was pleasing. You did no not booty. wear that. I wore it, but I was ple- It was a baby blue shirt with black writing, and I was pleasing no booty. It's my duty to please that booty. How old were you when you wore this? Thirteen, fourteen. Wild. I was wearing it to tech. And I've told the story on here. Me and Fossey when we were in tech went to a house party and I had this I bought this t shirt in like, I don't know, Burton or something. 
and I just grabbed it like on the day that we were going to this party. It was like a five pound t-shirt. And I wore a jacket over it, and it was this guy, Liam Juniper, in our class. He was having like a family party, like a 40th or something in the family. He's like, I'm bringing some mates. So we all went up, got the bus up, Donny D, where he lived. And halfway through the party, in front of like aunties and uncles and all this, and his ma, I just took off this jacket. I was wearing his t shirt. And it was a silhouette of a naked woman, but her nipples were like coloured, just her nipple. And it said, Porn star wanted, apply within. And this guy came up to me and was like, man, I really like need you to cut, like not wear that T-shirt. And I never understood it. And then when I was a lot older, I was like, that was so out of order for me. Yeah, to it's do complete that. smut. Yeah. Why, why? That wasn't even, there's no like even joke to that shirt. Yeah, no, there's just, no joke. Why can't you wear like Hanley's or something? Like I this? don't know. I was, I think I had an, I there's think no, Matt Hardy was in the It's not even like a euphemism or something, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. like. Do you say Hanley's? Mm. Would that have been, I had this polo shirt that was like, had like studs on it. Like a wee oh, thing of studs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like a... Like a no, like a, that would have been fucking... Yeah. I don't think... It, I think or... I, I think it was Henley's. Was it Geo Geo? Am I saying that? Oh, I no, I was more indie. I was more indie. I remember I, I, had, a, I had a white and purple Geo Geo jacket you swear to the club. <sighs> wet look gel. Bring back wet look gel. Me and Some the boys... Used, we used to go to the... <laughs> <laughs> me, me and my boys used to go to the club soaking. Friends just soaking Hollister polo was on. Just Hollister polo. Do you know what was the worst look of all time when they ran out of looks for a while? Polo shirt on polo shirt. Do you remember that? Yeah. I think Kanye maybe did yes. it for a little while. No, I would say worse than that would be the snooty. At Prime J last time. The snooty. It was the T shirt? Yeah, but it had a hoodie. It had a hood on the front. Oh, but it yeah. was like disheveled looking. I'll, yeah. I'll top that look. Shutter shades and that Rihanna shirt. So I where she's Aww. like the plain white but was her with the red hair and she's holding her tits. Yep. Yeah. Uh, everyone had that shirt. I had a Drake t-shirt and then Dave once for Christmas bought me a Drake t-shirt like this is like twelve years ago, but he admitted that he bought it from like a knockoff website because Drake definitely looked Indian in it. It was like it was not Drake's <laughs> head shape or anything like that at all. I was like I don't know who this man is. It says Drake on it, and I was like I'm too old to be wearing this anyway. <laughs> It was just a weird... The Rihanna one everyone had. I had a black and white Kanye one that everyone had for a while. I think Top... This is like the, peak Top Man. Yeah. You know? Do you remember Hollister was the shit? Oh, uh, sir. Everyone I worked like, there. I've all talked about this to death on the yeah, board. What? I worked in Hollister. No, yes. I thought you applied and were told you weren't good looking enough to work there. It got way worse than that. So, I'll tell it again. I'll tell a quick version of it. When they were moving... Opened their Belfast shop, I was like, oh, this sounds good. I was looking for a part-time job. Yeah. I applied. You went and did like... You did talk in a group, but then you got your photo taken at the end of it, which is like weird for a job interview. Um, and so strange. I didn't get a call, and then two months later or something, they were like, "Yeah, we'd love you to come down and and you know work in one of these positions." I was like, "Oh, brilliant! It's weird that I didn't hear back for so long." When I got there, I realised they had like a cat, like a hierarchy of your looks. So they had front the house, which is like the guys outside with their tops off, being like, "What's up, dude? Welcome to the pier." Uh, they had like people who worked on the tills. They had, uh, what are they called, models? They might have been the other way around, who walked around the shop and basically it was their job to like, if a shirt was slightly out of place, they would just be like, that's all they did, yeah. walk around and look good. Then they had uh, people who worked just slightly behind the scenes, like bringing new stock out. And then there was what I got hired for, which was overnight. So basically, when they closed the shop, <laughs> yeah. you got like bring the, out the goblins. The, oh my god! Like <laughs> they put like hoods over your head and like brought you yeah. in. You know, <laughs> <laughs> fucking bring you in like just we change. <laughs> just brought in a load of sevens, right? And they would like bring you in over the undercover of the darkness, and you had to like restock the whole shop. But you never got the like people in the shop never saw you. You know what I mean? But what was more of an insult is I was in that bottom category, and then only got the job when someone else couldn't do it. You know what I mean? So I was like a, I was you, a backup overnight. You were overnight. a reserve stinker, like. Yeah, I yeah. was a backup. I, I was <laughs> backup bog and bastard. I was a, I was a backup in the bench, yeah, which was terrible. It was the worst place ever to work because everyone thought they lived in Malibu. Everyone yeah. that worked there bought into the brand, <gasps> and then you get this induction, and the people running it are like, "Man, Hollister was like it was invented and in, like it was set up in 1973 in Malibu and all this," and then they're like. After the presentation, the guy's like, ah, it was, it was set up in 1998, like, in New York or something. It's like, it's all fake, like, the whole thing. Yeah. It's just an idea of a brand. Yeah. Uh, but everyone there were, everyone I worked with was living the brand. Say this, though, actual hostel clothes are shite. Like, quality of them is fucking Brutal. Horrendous. 
at the time, this. though, you know, it, it was it was pure a statement. Ambulance, like it, it was, was a statement. I was looking back, it was like eighty quid for the worst shirt. Yeah, like a black shirt with holes. they badly. And see, everyone who worked there, you didn't when you were doing overnight. You wear whatever the fuck you want. Cause no one's in the shop, but they would all wear the Hollister shirt, yeah. and it was like no one's seeing you do this. Yeah, yeah. you know what I mean. Um, That's how I found out it was a month there actually. Was I went to Hollister with my two mates, like two Spice Boys, and they both had this lady approach them about a job, and I was like, all right, sweet. <laughs> and I was just standing there like my Jack and Jones jeans, got hanging over it, yeah. finishing like, uh, your chopsticks, <laughs> yeah. and your cookie box at the same time. <laughs> pepper sauce stains on my Adidas track jacket. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> They would get approached for Alistair, me and you get approached for vape shops. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right, you look like you love a smoke. <laughs> You've got a pink face. Well, you look like the next big thing in world darts. Yeah. <laughs> you look like you don't sleep, really. <laughs> you either don't sleep enough or sleep too much. Would you like a job? Well, the first time the first time I went to Topman to buy, like, clothes, because up until that point, I only wore traction bottoms football top every day. Traction bottoms football top. And then... It was like a birthday or something, and maybe I had like fifty quid, and I went. To, I got the bus in the Belfast to buy my first ever proper pair of jeans and like a t-shirt, like a trendy t-shirt, and it was. I remember not wearing that outfit like every day for months. It was great, probably shit gear. It was a Joe Palms Beach Club t-shirt. It was yellow with red trim and like a red. You know, like you know, back then, like red around the collar and then red around the neck. Oh, you were flexing on these Oh hands. man, I, I love. Like it. you can remember what you were. I I don't have that memory. Like yeah, of like clothes I would wear. Do you what? have that? In well, your like mind? I go. I remember like just different phases. Like I have a nephew at the minute who's big and Andrew Tate, and like <laughs> smack the fuck out of him for me. <laughs> Not nah, like what is he? He's sixteen. Like is that his, the fuck out is that his target audience? He's trying on different personalities. You right. know, everyone did it whenever they're at age. Like, but he did say to me at so Christmas, what, he's going for sex traffic or now is that?" Yeah, that's what he. That's what he has an inclination to. <laughs> and I'm gonna let him figure it out. He wants the homies to get some. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and it, he can get some money off that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he's like, he said to me at Christmas, "Where's your Lambo?" And I was like. <laughs> I was like, where's your pubes, you wee cunt? Yeah. Where's your lamb? I've got a lamb chop. That's all we got. That's the best I can do for you. I get it, though. Like, 16, I had, I was emo for two weeks. And, uh, like, it was fun, like, you know. Uh, a lot of fringe maintenance. There was, I. Like, I just, I didn't use any product or anything. Just would leave it in there. Had, yeah. had a Slipknot t-shirt. Ah, yeah. Um, and then uh, I, I hung out with the group, the emo group. But it is funny to have, like, culture emos. Yeah. You know. Yeah, they're like, <laughs> I, just, I just stare into the bus. Sir. <laughs> Life is fucking horrible, and then you die. They actually sound like every throwdown boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's just every conversation I've had with McCartney ever. <laughs> <laughs> Do you enjoy our gig, sir? Sure, there's no point, is there? Yeah, that He's rural, emo, like, yeah, that yeah. rural emo vibe. Like, it doesn't lend, yeah, the voice doesn't lend itself. Yeah. Yeah. Um, when I was a young boy, my father took me into the city <laughs> to see a marching band. <laughs> I'm just a cub, and life is a nightmare. <laughs> Give me something to break. Followed by? <laughs> and that's your fucking face. Followed by? Sugar, we're going down <laughs> to the Galty Mall. Great feed, peppered sauce, chips, and stuffing. Pays your extra. <laughs> uh, I wish I had more references for emo music. <laughs> um, this would be the whole podcast, just me and you going oh back yeah. and forth on this. Well, you, 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 you didn't have an emo face though. You liked the music, but you weren't like you were an emo guy. I, I had friends who were emos, but I never partook in the lifestyle. I yep. found them weird. Yeah, and they annoyed me, and yeah. they smelled a bit. Um, Too much angst. A lot of emos I knew were the poshest people I knew. Right. So they'd be like, Mom, fuck everything. Life's so hard. I'm like, I've been to your house. You sh you fuck up. You yeah. rich cunt. No, you shoe me. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You've both your parents. You fucking be quiet. Uh, fuck those guys. Yeah, fucking two. Yeah, two parents together. <laughs> what are you going to love and home? Fuck yeah, off. Fucking, <laughs> and what are you being? Yeah. Well, my dad doesn't support my dreams. Yeah, because yeah. you're a skateboarder. Yeah. You fucking loser. Yeah. Right? So your fucking you, traditional setup. Yeah, I hate that. Yeah, Joke there on. was a the skateboarders though. At least, like you know, I kind of get that. But there was a group of boys that used to do parkour, 
<laughs> and like they were into, and they'd be getting like wee videos of themselves yeah, like, so yeah. I remember them. doing flips over buns like. also no skateboarder has ever landed a trick I've never seen a skateboarder <laughs> land a trick I've never seen a skateboarder land a trick oh I've you mean in real few, life in real life I've never they just the board runs away on and they're like oh fuck but constantly every yeah but like <laughs> Every, like everyone I, f- I fucking just hated every goth kid I knew like uh, I got almost some of them but most of them just irritated me they are so, like see metalheads sign as people like, oh, oh yeah yeah it. yeah like they're darlings like yeah although there was a guy when I used to work in the vape shop was a metalhead and you'd come in at 8 in the morning he's got to blast them Didn't in the vape on the vape shop TV uh, yeah, me had Sc- fucking... what, what was that? Scuzz? What was that music channel? You had Scuzz and Kerrang. Pass Kerrang, yeah. yeah. Scuzz, Scuzz, Scuzz was have Pass Kerrang. Aye, Scuzz was like, you put that on by mistake. Do you know yeah. when late at night when you're trying to watch TV? I got all yeah, scared. I got all scared and all. Put on Scuzz, woke up the whole neighbourhood. Yeah, Scuzz was like the TV channel you'd throw on when you had a Ouija board and that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Scuzz, Scuzz scared me. I put it on and we catch a wee glimpse of Papa Roach. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Turn it back to history. <laughs> MTV <laughs> base. <laughs> Watch Mario and chill. <laughs> <laughs> was there anything that used to scare you as a win on TV that like wasn't actually scary? I watched Blair Witch Project with my dad when I was probably twelve. That's a that's scary movie. Scary, I though. broke down in tears. That's a scary movie. Yeah, I broke down and he taunted me for it. <laughs> and I watch it as an adult and be like, that is freaky. Like that. What do you mean things that shouldn't have really scared you but did? Yeah, for whatever reason, like maybe it was the music or something made you feel a certain way. Do you remember the TV show Tra- Trapped? You forgot me talking again. I was going to say Trapped. 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 Where it was like a game show and every floor was a different game. And if you lost, you got stuck in the room. But the guy presented it was like a wee goblin guy had like big long ball bag ears. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, he freaked me out. This sounds like adult jungle room. Was jungle he real? Jungle used to freak me out. It used to I freak me out when the big when the big monkey, the temple would close. Aye. And exactly. they're just like, oh, those children are trapped for, trapped forever. Yeah. See you next week. And they sent them to Epstein's Island. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> back back when you could. <laughs> I try, I don't, all the Epstein's the two monkeys. Said. Epstein's homies were getting some. Yeah. I don't and know. Those oh, logs are getting leaked. Fall out. What were the two monkeys from Jungle World called? Sid and Elvis. <laughs> I've I've no concept of this <laughs> show. I don't Sid know. Sid and Elvis. Yeah. It's them on Epstein's Island. Just hankers like Sid Elvis and Elvis. Hankers. Sid and Elvis. Going down with the ship, just staying on the island. <laughs> <laughs> There's boys went to the island and filmed it. Just like regular guys. Like, like they just vlog in Epstein's recently? Island? Oh, I yeah, thought yeah. you meant Jungle Run. I was like, yeah, it was a whole no. show. No. Oh, so they... Oh, I've seen that actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And they find that big Temple square... Temple type yeah. thing? It's weird. It is weird. Yeah. Is there anyone who you thought should be on the list and they're not on it? Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> not like, oh, are you surprised? I mean, like... Well, can like, I advise you? you? Yeah. Nah. Nah? <laughs> Is there anyone who should be a pedophile but isn't? <laughs> Aaron McCann. <Should>. Someone who... <laughs> someone Do you know what would be a better way to phrase that question? Who would you like to sue you? Who have you always wanted to be sued by? Yeah. I, like, see, I've seen Zealand. You'd go for a nosy, like. Oh. Would. I mean, that would be my defence in court. <laughs> I was really having a nosy. I was having uh, a nosy. Stephen Hawke, I'm going to go. There's some buff, I it. I do feel bad for the ones who, like, just would get the plane to other places and now they're... Hard do you game? think Stephen Hawking wore the lanyard in the airport going over or do you think they were just like nah sweet <laughs> I don't I sound like the wee sunflower he, yeah. he, he, do you think, do you think, do you think if he left that, do you think if he left that at home they'd be like it's cool yeah, yeah. not all the symbolies are visible <laughs> do you know what I mean you could see him in Aldergrove and he's getting the plane at City. Yeah. And you know he's disabled. Like, he's visible. Who's stopping that guy? And he's like, oh, I'm disabled. And they're like, I'm going to need to see some proof here. Man. <laughs> see, even trying to, I know it's not right, like, but, you know, whatever. You know, well, the well, Epstein's yeah. Island? <laughs> oh, it's not right. It's not right. Uh, but, <laughs> Controversial take from our <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll tell you he's a pedophile, but no who discuss me. People in wheelchairs. <laughs> What's even worse? Pedophile in a wheelchair? <laughs> <laughs> According to this guy. <laughs> yeah, God put you in that chair for a reason. Um, <laughs> but like <laughs> But like <laughs> Right now, there was like pedophile fantasy league because if you're a pedophile, right? If you're a pedophile, right? And you've never had, you know, someone to look up to. Because yeah. the pedophile roster at the minute, weak. The lead singer of Lost Prophets, yeah. Savile. Yeah. Like, these yeah. are, what, like, you can't identify with these guys. The guy from Glee. 
The guy from like that's I forgot about that. C tier celebs. You yeah. Know? yeah, yeah. You mm-hmm. want like a Beyonce. Yeah. That's what you want. You want like someone who's like A tier celebrity and you're like finally They're getting A list there's not some representation. Yeah. It's no longer just Ralph Harris with a board. <laughs> yeah. they're, like, I'm, I'm, <laughs> they're getting some big names in. I was asking somebody recently I think it was you. I think we had a conversation yeah. backstage at Lavery's. I can't tell you I'm not a pedophile. On, on Wednesday night and I was like uh, say this all uh, just before we went on stage I said <laughs> well, I went, what about all this Illuminati shit? All right. is, there, is there something to it? And you made the great point where you were like there probably is but they probably don't call it that. Yeah. You know they probably go like guys we should change if people are on to us let's change the name. No Rebrand. what I add because it was when we were shooting the harp ad oh, he's in definitely the morning. <laughs> it's when we were shooting the harp ad in the morning. <laughs> What, what did you I missed that <laughs> so, very clever joke from me <laughs> I, I won't even listen to watch the episode back <laughs> fucker he's quick what did he say what did he say quick see I got a day to end bus like so yeah, I, you yeah. know I'm not on that way I'm, I'm, I'm just like. a way I, I woke up to the message of are you, are you calling through Belfast <laughs> yeah. so, I'm, I'm what did he say it he was goes, a joke about uh, it was a joke he said they need a rebrand and yeah. I said he's definitely in ah that's very good. That's very good. Russell. Very good. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Sorry. Was I thought that was like, no, no <laughs> yeah. brand. Yeah. I thought that was leaving. <laughs> We're already in deep water with that shit. <laughs> Dan no just more. said code red and there's wrist. <laughs> <laughs> but you the said- NI podcast producer uh, <laughs> you- network. <laughs> you are- Dan and Niall go straight to the airport. <laughs> Why are Dan and Niall on board of Stenoline bound for Strand Rock? You asked me about the Illuminati when we were filming the Harpoff. Sean, I think Sean McDonald just went past the parachute. <laughs> oh, fuck. Sorry, Willie. No, so, no, but you asked me about the Illuminati when we were filming a harp ad in the morning. That's right. So yes, I did say to you, yeah, yeah, it's probably a group, but we don't know them. But what I actually, the first thing I said was, are you asking me at half nine in the morning That's about right. the fucking Illuminati? That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, we all went through that phase when we were 14. Oh, I, yeah. Uh, Listen to the Jay-Z song backwards. Yeah, everyone thought Jay-Z was in it for a bit. Everyone thought Kanye was in it for a bit. Yeah. Because I, I will say there's a lot of photos of them all doing... I but sure. If you thought that people were talking about you, better you'd pull out. I could do that right now. Are you sure. <laughs> Ten years time. <laughs> yeah. Like McCann was in the throne of Limonada. <laughs> do you own Quig? <laughs> the, throne of, the throne of Limonada is just a light shop <laughs> and <there are> more. <laughs> <laughs> or is it? <laughs> 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 We all get snapped like a major <laughs> uh, I don't know, boys. I don't know anything about anything anymore. Don't I don't know. Would Question. you join the Illuminati if they asked you? Uh, straight straight away, no questions asked. Don't know. What need, would have to be the benefit that would I'd get need to you? know what what what's in what what does it entail? It's probably the same as like uni days. You get like discounts and <laughs> yeah, all. Yeah, yeah. They have a car. Uh, it says not the Illuminati. <laughs> yeah. uh, you're in Tesco, they're like, that's 27 quid, then you just go, and they're like, that's nine, it's nine quid. It's nine quid. Yeah, it's basically a club yeah. card yeah. for everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you get four munch buns for the price of three if you're in the Illuminati. <laughs> Pepsi Max is always on deal when you're in the Illuminati. <laughs> just fucking... Yeah. You get control in New York City, and I have Doritos multi-pack. <laughs> I like it's crazy how I used to laugh at anything like that and be like people are just mental and now I am firmly like oh whatever you suggest I, I believe it. let me tell you the truth is matter than fiction because have you seen about this Jew tunnel <laughs> yes yes sir yes. yes. <laughs> Besides Splash, ride. besides Splash Mountain, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> and I don't know. Why that, listen, that came out right. It's the it this was the Jew tunnel. It was the easiest way of me to convey what I was talking about. Yes, the tunnel full of Jewish people. Yep. So in that. New York, between synagogues, is that is that right? That's what they're saying. What are they doing down there? Well, I was hearing <laughs> from who <laughs> people that um, that it might have been during COVID they built them so they could move around. That sounds like mm-hmm. a convenient Aye. excuse to me. What that's what, that's the official team with me stance on it, isn't it, Dan? But did you see they, they literally cool, sent loads of police to fill it up? To fill up, like to go and then into they had the a Royal tunnel. Rumble. 
That's literally the, the boys kicked off. That's big the says. plot to the third Batman. It is. That's the yeah. Dark Knight Rises. It yeah. is. Batman's down there with a wee Palestinian kid, like fucking <laughs> roundhouse kick and juice. You'd have some crack though, like if you were in that tunnel, like you and all the boys. In the oh, tunnel, the boys popping it off. It is until the big Jewish bean comes out. <laughs> Shalom, Batman. <laughs> Shimon, Batman. <laughs> I think I was just doing a being Michael Jackson. <laughs> but yeah, that, that <laughs> why were they all beating the fuck out of each other? Then why the Royal Rumble kick off? Because they were trying to arrest them. I think they were like knock those tunnels in the heads, and the boys were like, "Fuck that." <laughs> <laughs> Did you see the video of the guy actually coming out? Of the, <laughs> yeah. The, like it didn't look convenient. That can't be real. Like he literally he got out in a panic and like the only, <laughs> the only verb I can use is scurried. He yeah, scurried away did. and like. Do, do, do you know how they got caught? How they found out about it? Hi. There was a guy whose like house was just above the tunnels, and he said he could keep hearing like people like going underneath his floor. And he thought he was. You would think you're going mad when you're like. There's no Jews in my walls. Like, yeah. <laughs> see if I see if I was hearing <laughs> Yiddish coming from the fridge. <laughs> I don't want uh, you do it. Uh. Of course you do, mate. Of course you do. <laughs> there's a bit of there's a bit of Jew in these walls. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you'll get that just with a little bit of mold and certain <laughs> condensation. I don't mean that. <laughs> Jay. Jay. Yeah. Got your ceramic floor mounts my that. <laughs> you would think you were going and see it. Oh, big time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Big time. I would. If, I mean, if I was involved in the building of the tunnels, just for the boys went down. But boys, one rule: shh, when yeah. you're going through the tunnels, shh. Yeah. Then it would be they still have the tunnels. I, I, you'd have to have a mate over and be like, "No, listen. Can can you hear having a vela right now? Yeah. <laughs> how are they like? How do you even get it? How do you even?" Build it in the first place. <laughs> the Black Eyed Peas did a show in the Jewish Tunnel. <laughs> when? I don't know. See, that's easy to spread misinformation. Fuck, I, <laughs> that was I, I fully, but I one hundred percent, one hundred percent, one hundred percent. Well, I, <laughs> well, I am some sort of weirdo freak guy who would do it as yeah. well. Ka- yeah, it's a sort of place Kanye would do an album. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doing an album in the Jewish tunnels <laughs> yeah. in New York. Well, I am so, like, it's like Coachella for the Jewish community, right? <laughs> and well, I am so, like, fill my cup, whole crowd. <laughs> Mazel tov. <laughs> oh my god You're like I swear to god I'm here and <laughs> I'm here Where's the love I'm here in Boom Boom Pow Going from that floor <laughs> They're all wearing Hollister <laughs> But if, you know we're I pretty... just couldn't be Fuck building a tunnel No fair play to... Hey it was well crafted Yeah, It was a good tunnel But that's yeah, what yeah. makes me think It wasn't over Covid it Makes me feel Those tunnels being I'm there just saying that. I don't know I'm just saying That's what I heard But we're We're where are there tunnels that we don't know? Do you know it'll be 10 out of 10 when you move to New York if that's where you live? I'm going straight for the tunnels. <laughs> yeah. I, as soon as I get off that plane, I'm like, I need to have a look at this. So imagine you like the, the, the doors open the plane and you sprint. Like no, I, no bags or anything. Scurry into the wee tunnel. tunnel. Fist clenched the whole time. <laughs> Just fucking... <laughs> Imagine, imagine getting up at the airport Can and you sprinting over you? with your fist clenched the whole time. <laughs> just to wherever you're going, like, like taxi man and all are like, hey man, you want to ride? You're just fucking Over the JFK bridge. <laughs> Hard shoulder. <laughs> all right, all right. I get told I go through airports like that. Apparently I have a really angry face. So, and I will walk with my fist clenched. Yeah. So if I'm by myself, you may see me walk through Also, airport. 10 out of 10, this guy will only take the most inconvenient bag for his condition. What do you mean? Like, I wear a backpack. Like, my hand luggage is a backpack on mm. two shoulders. Standard. This guy, you'd be like... Because, obviously, his arm gets tired. It can it can clench up. Sorry for doing it. Um, but he should, obviously, just wear a backpack. This guy will insist on wearing an over-the-shoulder bag that goes down to basically his knee. I'm not I'm not wearing a backpack. I'm not. I'm a grown man. I'm not wearing a backpack. But it it's a struggle. I'm like... I'd rather Give struggle than wear a backpack. I'm not getting dropped off to the first day of college. I'm not wearing a fucking backpack. You know what I backpacks have? I'm cool. 27. I kind of get that. like, And I get... Geddes gives me a well grief about this, but I have a gym bag, right? Which is perfect as, like, if you're not looking to put on luggage, you're just looking to carry on, right? Yeah. It what just, was it? We over-the-shoulder sports bag? This is the thing. It was designed that way. I lost the over-the-shoulder thing, so now I just carry it. Like a hitman. <laughs> yeah. I walk through the airport nah. with a wee bag. <laughs> with a wee hitman bag, where's the tunnel? <laughs> do you know what you can do? <laughs> <laughs> you, 
Judas Tuttle's near me. <laughs> Do you know what you, do you know what you to can't? Find a do you know? <laughs> Come on! Ah! Come on! <laughs> and that making Sorry. you laugh again. Do you know what you can't do? <laughs> you could take those two handles and put them on Not, your shoulders. Shane, I'm flattered that you think that would fit over my back. Right. I have a right. back like a shelf. Right. <laughs> Just a couple of old boys sitting on it, sweating. Back. <laughs> <laughs> you could fit two old boys in my back. Yeah. <laughs> The coal burning in the corner. I mean, no matter what your political opinions are, your our boys are looking at those tunnels, being like that. That's that's cool. Like but that's fun. That's my point, though. Where are there tunnels that we don't know about? Oh, is there a tunnel? I've been obsessed. I have been obsessed with tunnels since we probably we started this podcast because there's tunnels. <laughs> As in this one this morning. <laughs> no, I've been into tunnels for a long time. <coughs> there's tunnels everywhere and old tunnels and then there's a river that runs under Belfast called the Fawcett Fawcett there's a river that runs under Belfast and there's like tunnel you can walk along it on underground tunnels and we had a uh, conquer from uh, from Belfast document Belfast on the podcast and I was asking him about the tunnels and he's like I might be able to get you access and then he's like oh I don't know what's that I guarantee you, the people who run the tunnels have heard that and got on to him and be like, "Don't you fucking tell him anything about these tunnels?" See, that's I, I don't like the, I don't like tunnels or pedos pathway. I don't like them. <laughs> What's your thoughts on caves? Fine, because they haven't had. They're not going anywhere. Yeah. Whereas a tunnel, do you know, why do you need a tunnel from like the Presbyterian Church to a Benedict's? What are you doing? Yeah, 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 yeah. Something sneaky's going on there. I I don't know. There's tunnels all over the place that we don't know about. Definitely, like. Yeah. There's, I got to be tunnels in this town. by the end of the year. If uh, like this keeps so happening. I'll be honest. When I seen that in my Twitter feed, I was like, "I'm going insane." I was like, "Fuck, he's right." Kizzy would have told us that thing. on a quiz, uh, on a Zoom quiz over COVID, and, and we'd, we'd be have like, "Shut him. up, dude." Yeah, shut up. <laughs> I don't, it's it's getting scary. It freaks me out. I don't like it. I couldn't really give a fuck. I saw Bill Clinton. <laughs> there was footage of Bill Clinton. <laughs> the, the dichotomy of man. <laughs> Inside every man, there's two wolves. <laughs> like those two, no, those two, like opera masters. <laughs> <laughs> and then we saw one, like, oh, I'm wearing like, oh, I'm <laughs> Sir, you open your back door and there's birds singing. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> Bill Clinton's in Mexico. They're like, what's he doing in Mexico? And there was footage of him going to a bookstore. And I, for some reason, watched that and was like, look at this guy. What's he doing at a bookshop right. in Mexico? Mm. Buying a Beatle book, aren't you? But what is he doing in a bookstore in Mexico? That's my point. What, what's his business there? Man's just looking to read, like. They're saying, uh, they're saying, he's, they're saying he hasn't come back to America since the flight logs have been out. We creep. Maybe we he's creep. all this. Help deliver peace in this country, though. At what cost? That's <laughs> 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 the, the troubles kicked off again because he's on that Epstein plane. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know what to believe. <laughs> see, see the way you did that there. What's your favorite like, like a hockey sitcom thing? You mean like where the character will do a specific thing? Yeah, and like it, it gets like my favorite right oh, is I go scene right. Yeah, where like say the wee boys had like a baseball tournament or something, yeah. Yeah. and he didn't believe in himself, yeah. and then hits like just a complete home run. Yeah, and then the old boy gets him back to the house, tucks him in the bed. And he's like walking to go out of the room and he's walking to switch it off the light. Cubs on, on the pillar, just sleeping off, drifting off, going to the land and nod. Albert turns around and goes, Good night, champ. Oh, yeah. Wholesome. My favorite uh, when someone in the sitcom is slabbering about someone, <laughs> but then that person walks in behind him. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? And yeah. they keep going and they're yeah, yeah. like, yeah. 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 Well, it's like it's like you have you know you can't let him play in the tournament. He's not good. It's like well I can't let him know he's a fat ugly spastic and the and then the wee kids in behind him and what the crowd's like ooh. Yeah. <laughs> he heard you call him a wee fucking my, ugly fat bastard. Mine is, mine is this: when someone when someone walks in on something that they like weren't supposed to see, but they walk in and look at it like it's just nothing. Oh, like for example, yeah, yeah, yeah. like. Two characters' dads are getting off with each other. Yeah. And the guy will just walk in to make a sandwich and he'll go like, he'll look at it like this, right? So you walk in and go like this. And then he go. 
That's the best one. Or leave the room and then come back in. Yeah. I like that one. <laughs> Two characters dads getting into each other. Yeah. I like people getting caught doing things. I ain't got so yeah, yeah, ever, yeah. I watched a compilation yeah. one time in Pornhub. Like, I, my route had gone. Who's watching a sitcom and, compilation? <laughs> no, I'm only on Pornhub no, 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 for the no. sitcoms. No, I watched... Who's 46 <laughs> minutes into a Pornhub video? <laughs> I, I, watched, I watched a caught masturbating compilation, sir. A what? Caught Eternal ma- Joy. Caught masturbating. I think you said cop. I also... <laughs> <laughs> they're on the tunnels that's what they're for <laughs> NYPD or <laughs> so, LAPD the phrase I was on Pornhub and my route was gone why yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I took too long <laughs> <laughs> you know I was like seven pages deep and I was like what am I doing is it like is it real or is it just like it's fake it's like oh you caught me I think some of them are like choreographed but some of them you can tell it's like you know you can always tell if you it on like a bad phone or something <laughs> <laughs> two, three, four, spin <laughs> And the chest. And the chest. And the chest. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. People who get caught masturbating are so funny. <laughs> Have you ever been caught masturbating? Never, nah. Say that more creepy. Have you ever been caught masturbating? One nipple got hard as a head, too. Have you ever been I think there was, no, I think there was a lot of urban myths about, we talked about this in the episode recently, about people like saying, like, you know that urban myth of like, ah, oh, this guy was wanking in his room with his eyes closed and he had his headphones in and then when he opened his eyes his man left his lunch beside him you have you ever I mean? seen that video though where the guy comes down there's clearly been a party and he comes down into his kitchen his mate's just sitting bags down fucking pull him on off and he's like Crumb what are you doing Crumb you're fucking having a wank in my kitchen his mate stands up and he's wiped out he's like fuck sorry mate I thought I was in bed there <laughs> that's quite have the game have you ever seen that no. it's so funny that's that's how you got it, dude. You that's got his character. It. That's his character catchphrase. Fuck's sake, I thought I should be. <laughs> also, the fact the guy's name is Crum. Hilarious. Yeah. I love when someone has a nickname like that. Crum. 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 How um, do you get that? Fun of the jazz or something. Mm, <laughs> El Crum here. Um, this is not anything to do with anything. I just thought this was quite funny. I I really like when Tom Jones in a song goes, oh. Right, you do love that. And then I was do I was putting the kids in the car today, and I was doing that noise. My, my son went, "What is that?" And I was, Tom Jones is a singer. He just does that. And then my son started doing it. And then my one year old started doing it too. So the three of us were just driving their feet, going, "Oh!" <laughs> and it's very funny. Um, it's, it's like a scene in Step Brothers where they're in Sweet Child of Mine. Yeah, <laughs> but you're just going, uh, "Oh, oh!" Um, Aaron, uh, what's what's the latest with the New York move? May, hopefully. I have a friend getting married in May, and then I'm going to depart shortly after that. Not after they see this podcast or not? No. Yeah, I'm going to New York, and then she's going, oh, can you show us this video? Like, I'm fine, the tunnels. I'm fine, I'm fist clenched. He bloodhound. <laughs> Sprung with a fist Well, you look like a wee guy who'd sniff out the tunnels. I do, I do. <laughs> I On look, no, I look like, who's the cunt in Harry Potter turns into a rat? Peter Pettigrew. <laughs> That's, Peter Pettigrew. I look like Peter Pettigrew, man. <laughs> like if we could transform into animals right now, might yeah. it might be a wee rap. I can see you on a leash, all these NYPD officers walking you about. <laughs> Dan, something crazy happens where a spell falls over this podcast and everyone turns into an animal. Who turns into what? Great question. Great question. Just I'm speak a, from the heart. Don't wolf. overthink it. No, wolf. you're a lurcher. He's wolf. A wolf. Mongoose. <laughs> brilliant. Yeah. Absolutely brilliant. I can see that. Great shout. Not a mongoose. Big neck and all that. Huh? What? Hippo. Hippo, yeah. I've got hippo vibes. Yeah. What yeah. animals are you going to Tell you one guy's not holding back today. Damn quick. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> mole. Fucking mole. Don Rickles. <laughs> what did you say? A mole? I'd be a mole apparently. I've got told that before. I just love him going, hippo, and you, you going, correct. <laughs> I'd take you hippo. Hippo or manatee, I'd take. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I can see yeah. you being like a big gorilla. I could see that too. Like, point my chest now. Mm. Dan, you'd be a squirrel, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you boo be a wee mongoose. Wee mongoose? Wee mongoose. Mm. Do you know what a mongoose is? Mm-mm. He's raging about that. He yeah. hates Because he animal. doesn't know what a mongoose is. They're kind of like a big swan. Like a big lion? Nope. Nope. Not no, at all. Like a big like swan. A big rip. Like Mon- a tall duck. Not a tall duck. Mo- oh, be- fuck off. Not a mongoose. That looks like. <laughs> fuck off. I'm. <laughs> yeah, that's me. That's your spirit animal. Like. Is that what a mongoose is? Yeah. Are they, I thought a mongoose was like a... Uh, I'm thinking of a crane. I'm thinking of a crane, that's what I'm thinking of. Like building houses? No, like a bird. Oh, right. 
No, like Kung Fu Panda's dad. He's a Korean. Right. That's what I'm thinking of. Oh, you would be. Adam. No, Korean. <laughs> <laughs> you would be a wee mongoose like that. Yeah. I could see that. What would you rather be if you woke up more a Korean or a Korean? <laughs> Depends on what situation I was in. Yeah. If I need to fly, Korean. Korean. Yeah. <laughs> Korean. Yeah. If your dad's about to hand but you over the family Korean restaurant, <laughs> Korean. Korean. <laughs> <laughs> Lifting all the meals in. <laughs> <laughs> New game show, Korean or Korean? <laughs> From a very long distance. <laughs> Korean. <laughs> Are you know what? That's one of those things. Sounds racial? Not at all. No. No, it's not. Not at all. If you could pick a nationality, if you had to wake up tomorrow with a different nationality, black. What would you be? I'd be black. That's not a nationality. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be black. Why do you say I'm like, black? I'd Are be you black. From? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, I'm black again. Um, what would it be? <laughs> it would be black. black. <laughs> you know that? I would. You, you know about You're black. saying that like me. You I were, love about me the black. You weren't in the car saying how shit it is. You're white. So true. We were listening to hip hop in the car during uh, the way here, and I was like, what a waste of a life. JPEG yeah. Mafia and Danny Brown, and we were like, fucking, we're so white. I'll never know. recover from what nationality would you be? Willie, black. <laughs> <laughs> um, what would you be? Maybe like Ecuadorian or something. Oh, what? Colombian or something like that. Colum- why would you go Colombian? Mm, don't know. I think they're like really nice color. Okay, yeah. What would you go for? Probably like Italian. Italian. I can see that. But like, a, but like, a, like the Italian American. Oh right, okay. You know, I've told him before. He looks, he looks like a mob spoiled bosses. Ma- mob boss's son. Yeah, Never I feel I could play that role very well. Oh, so well. Like if there was loose a, cannon, you know what I mean. If there's a season of Fargo where there's a wee Italian mob in it, I want to be in that. Like the dad, <laughs> the dad should just leave him the family business, but he can't. Who'd play my so, dad? Uh, Dave. No, it has to be an. It has to be an actor. Oh. Whoa. Yeah. Oh. No, like whoa. A, like a famous. Whoa. Actor. Well, like a famous actor. Oh. <laughs> oh. I told Someone you. with her. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I was going to say Ray Liotta, but he's dead, so he couldn't do it. We can get him back and CGI him. I'll start acting classes just for that role. Just to be my dad. No, yeah. you'd be my older brother. Yeah, you. You. By the way, you're the one who it should be left to. Yeah. Yeah. But he's fucking ruining it. You can't say after deal with his mistakes. Yeah. Yeah. You keep the smoke in the pot. <laughs> I'm like, That's why you can't have the family <laughs> business. <laughs> Wait, I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm in serious business deals and you're doing that. I'm being like, yes, you're 25% for the next four years. You're being like, we're taking the whole thing. Like, we're taking the whole damn pie, huh? I'm like, yeah, yes, can't they got the news in the tunnels. <laughs> what a bosha. I'm like, you, I told you to stay in the car. I told you. I told you stay in the car, stick on your Danny Brown. I'll be out tomorrow. I told you. <laughs> Who uh, played Shane's? If, if someone could play Shane's that in a movie. Ooh, Glenn Close. I would say... <laughs> <laughs> that's a Dennis, question that's been thought Dennis about. Him, that's a shout. Uh, Joe David, Pesci? David Dickinson. Joe Pesci? I was going to say... Um, Joe Pesci. Joe Pesci would be my dad in a movie. Yeah. yeah. Such a famous actor, but his name's left me. Grand Torino. Oh, Clint Eastwood? Clint, Eastwood? Cl- Clint would make a Great powerful Way Dennis. too tall, but... We could do effects. I could see David Dickinson being a good Dennis. Yeah. The Duke? He was in jail. Why? Dennis or David Dickinson? What? We shared a cell with my dad. Uh, No, David Dickinson was in jail for fraud back in the day, years ago. Really? The Duke? Oh, why? That fucker's still, he's 82 and he's still selling those antiques like. Oh, man. Hi. What stoner conversation? He's still selling them antiques, bro. Dude, you David can't Dickinson's stop him. still going. Fucker's been dead 12 years. He's still selling them antiques <laughs> up in heaven. <laughs> you fume if you got to heaven. I and Dickinson's trying to flog your shelf. Oh, yeah. yeah. Me just dead. He's a wee collector plate. They're like, fuck me. <laughs> what was the prank? Did he do it? Did Anton Deck prank him once and it was 10 out of 10? I don't know. I haven't seen Is it. that the stuff you tried and then you were sick? I was immediately sick, yeah. What is it called? Nicotine? Yeah. Well, it's just wee pouches. I'm off the vapes, clean. But it's an addiction that doesn't get any respect. It does because it's not cool, vaping. I know, but like, if I, like you know, I said the other day on stage, I'm nine days off the vapes, nothing. 
Uh, but if I was like, I'm off the smack. But when you go to like America and you say that, when you go to America and say you've been off the vapes, you'll they'll fucking because everyone's like, they'll love like, it. You, you have not done smack. Yeah, you don't have a smack head face. You don't have smack head energy. Roast? Yeah, people have people. <laughs> have, not a roast. No, it's a nice thing to say. People have like drug face. Do you ever yeah. you ever see a fella and you're like, yeah. he would. No, you don't. I know he doesn't. You either. don't. Yeah. You I, should. I, I get... F- I, uh, but you don't. I have, like, the Matthew Perry effect of, like, where I get fatter, the more drugs I do. It's really annoying. Because <laughs> I do coke, I just stay up later eating. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't lose any weight. we got to keep you out of the jacuzzis, big man. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be in the next day, Deadpool. <laughs> Deadpool! I got to watch that Night Swim film yesterday of McCarty. If you want to go see a shy tower, brilliant. Is it, it's good. Don't swim at night or something. It's got. It's just called night swim, but uh, it's about a hot. <laughs> I thought we were going to see that night swim film. <laughs> oh yeah, don't swim at night. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling them. It's great. It's about a haunted pool. Okay. Dance with that? the Illuminati, mate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now nah, I was picking Dan up on a sidecar. <laughs> Get in, Thelma and Louise heading off here in the KFL. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the local podcast producers network. Love that. <laughs> um, look, we'll have to we'll have to wrap up. Later. What? I know. Oh, we're having I such know. fun. Yeah, I'm fuck having your fun next, here. Fuck your next guest. I mean, Willie, uh, is there anything you want to promote? No. Nah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron. Um, no, no, no. Where can the, people the, see Aaron McCann before he goes? Uh. I don't have any plans about it, but what I will say, can I just take this opportunity to say uh, the Riverfront Cafe in Oma, it's really good. Yeah. They do a great quiche. Is that your, is that your plug in right That's my plug. Nice. Respect yeah. that. Shout out to Rosie. Okay. Yeah, I'm not the plug at all. Guys, uh, thanks very much for listening <laughs> and watching. Can I say, for me, yeah. this was 10 out of 10 episode and I've had, had a lot of fun. fun. Thanks, man. I've had Thank a lot of fun with friends. Fun. A lot of fun with friends. Guys, thanks, to Asana. thanks for it. watching and listening. You'll see it, everybody. Dan's last podcast. Mm-hmm.